with my mama. We're at stop number one, Yaritza, woo -woo, Yaritza Central. Let's see um, what we can find. Look at that giraffe. I'm behind the giraffe. Look at all the clothes. What not? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Do y'all see this? Let's see how much this sucker is. Mom found a steam cleaner kit. Might be worth it. It looks brand new. Mom, can you repeat what, what you just said? I thought of Paul when I seen this. My mom likes you too much, Paul. <laughs> Alright. Um, got this bag with two shirts in there. And this Squishmallow. I spent eight bucks. Not bad. This is new with tags. It's a loft. Retails for like 70 bucks. This one, there's a couple of pictures that don't have anything on them. That's a picture. Here's an example of how dogs easily distract me. So I was looking at these shoes and I kind of was checking them out, but the dog caught my attention, so I forgot to ask her how much those were. And then I got carried away. Well, she ended up charging $5 for those. And somebody came up right behind me and scooped those for five bucks, which was an amazing score. Uh, but I do continue looking through these random boxes here. I kind of saw a PC game. And I end up finding these really cool vintage cards kind of just stuck in between some CDs. Basically, you lose some, you win some. It kind of evens out at the end. But I wish I would have got those shoes. Um, these cards, she ended up charging me 50 cents each, so a dollar for both. They do resell as is in near mint mint condition for anywhere from $35 to $50. However, if I do send them in to get graded and they come back at a nine or higher, they could potentially be hundreds of dollars. So I am considering sending those cards in to be graded and I'll put some screenshots right here so you can see them better. Oh, that looks so comfy. Okay, there's those. A fairy garden. Oh, look at the swings. Oh, I like this neighborhood. Good morning. I some lemonade here. How much is your lemonade? Um, a dollar a cup. A dollar? Thank you. They're dog approved, huh? Yes, they're, they're dog approved. Stickers, dog treats. Okay, so I really wanted this remote control dinosaur. I did search some comps and it looked like it was selling for about a hundred dollars new in box. Now, this is new, but it's not in the box, and they were asking $25 for it, and she wasn't really willing to budge, so I decided to pass. <laughs> I like these. Mm -hmm. Linda loved oosters. Oh, there's more little rooster mats. These are the sort of things that I really don't know a whole lot about and I'm not willing to invest the time to learn on like breakables, fragiles, glass. I don't want to store it and I also don't want to ship so it. I also don't want to purchase so the supplies so required for all of that. Um, but I still like it's looking here. at I it. I really had zero interest in looking at any clothes at yard sales, which is weird. Normally I love it. But this time I just decided to pass on all the clothes racks other than skimming through very quickly. Okay, so far I've got two book sets, uh, a Pikachu Plus, which which is a win, 
some two cards that I think are really cool that I have no clue. But they're from 1990. One's Wolverine and one's Spider-Man versus the Green Goblin. Um, I'm hoping that these are pretty cool finds. I figure anybody taking the time to put them in the case. These were actually hidden in a like mildewy box in between some video games and CDs and stuff. So hopefully that's a good find. These were a dollar for both of them, so 50 cents a piece. Um, and then some other like miscellaneous stuff that I'm excited to try in my whatnot auction and um, maybe in my bite now. So we are on a time limit. We did get here late. We got here like an hour late. It's definitely been picked over. But there's still a lot of really good finds and it's still fun. And people here are kind of getting over it already. So they're offering a little bit better deals. Uh, so let's go on and see if we can find anything else. Yeah, I'm looking at prizes and stuff. Look at this one. That's an indoor outdoor weatherproof. No. Mm -hmm. Is this for sale? Yes. Yeah. yeah. How much is it? 50? Without the battery. The battery is just there to let everybody know. Sitting on the floor, found this Squishmallow earlier at the yard sale. Very dirty. I've already started cleaning it, and then I thought, ooh, ooh, let me film a clip. So I'm using this bad boy Bissell right here to just clean it up because it's too big to fit in the washer, uh, and it's too dirty to just spot train, spot treat everything. Uh, so all these little spots, let's go ahead and see how pristine we can get this. Look at that. I'll show y'all. This is a nice little before and let's see after. There we have it. Still a little wet, but woo, it looks way better. Way better. And now it's clean and a squishable squash mallows. Yay! Today has been crazy, crazy shipping day. So, um, I've already sold some of the stuff from the yard sales. Let me go ahead and show you what has sold on whatnot. This bag right here, this beautiful handbag. Um, I picked this up at a yard sale just right on the other side of my street. Yeah, I paid $5 for this, and it's just a beautiful Mexican floral embroidered crossbody or handbag. Um, that sold in my Buy It Now of a Ray Train show for my full price of 20 bucks. Okay, two more items that I am shipping up that sold um, is a little coach bundle set. This is a wallet. It is pre-owned, but I put that and this coach coin purse, so a nice little matching set in my buy it now of the same raid train for $25, and that sold at the full asking price, so I paid $5 each for those, uh, so I made $15. I can't even zoom out far enough. Um, I did sell this as well. So this I picked up at a, the very first yard sale that we um, didn't plan on going. We stopped at before the community yard sale. I paid $5 for this and um, you saw me probably in this video, maybe another one, I don't know when, clean this because it was pretty dirty and I cleaned the heck out of it and oh my gosh it's so nice. So I actually wanted to tell a little bit of, a little, a little bit of story. A little bit of story about this one um, I wasn't sure I was not sure on whether to run this as an auction or to put it in my buy it now she's big she's fluffy so my thought process was based on comps it was kind of selling anywhere from like 60 to 85 dollars just depending on the shipping um, a lot of the shippings were about the shipping fees were about 15 to 25 dollars so I thought because I always offer everything lower on whatnot I thought if I did it in the bite now I would do it for 50 dollars however that's such a great deal and this is such a rare piece that I said man it could go for more though so then I said, oh, you know what, maybe just do it as an auction. But I don't ever want to start my auctions at, like, the highest price I want for it. So I would not start my auction as 50 because that's no fun, you know. you got to start the auctions a little bit lower than what you would offer something as a buy now. So I decided to start my auction at $30. I almost did 25 because I was like, that's a round number. But I said, you know what, no 30 because realistically, 
I would expect about $60 for this on eBay, so I'd start it at half the price that I would want for it on eBay. And if it went awesome, I paid $5 for it, so it was a really good uh, flip. And if it didn't, then I would just list it on eBay, and if it went for more, great. So I did this, $30, auctioned it off, and it ended up selling for $64, which was amazing, and it was it made for a really good show, it made for a really good auction. Um, so I was very happy that I decided to do an auction route on this versus a buy it now. And um, I, I made an extra $14 doing it that way and had a lot more fun and engagement for the show factor. <laughs> Here is how I ship it in a big vacuum seal bag. So uh, squishmallows are squishable, okay? Keep that in mind. So I just squished it around in here. And uh, now let's see how thin we can get at it. There we go. Now we just put that in a poly mailer. Look how tiny it is now. And <laughs> look at it. Way smaller, much more compact, is a lot easier to ship, and it'll get there nice and safe. So this is one of the best ways to ship squash squish mallows. Um, and for the shipping to be as low as possible so you don't have to put them in a box. We are um, Wednesday now. It is Wednesday, hump day, and uh, I am not a good YouTuber. <laughs> so I did my best with the video. This is the closing because I just didn't even close anything out. I, I'm decent enough at getting clips, but making sure that stuff flows, I have a lot of trouble with that. I did not film a whole lot of what I got specifically while I was yard selling because especially at community yard sales, I just want to put the stuff in the vehicle and go to the next one. Just move, boom, boom, boom. I don't have the mindset of stopping, pausing, create content, film stuff. Um, and making sure I have correct verbiage or whatever to so that the video flows So I mean I hopefully I get a little bit better at that just naturally without really you know like trying um, But I figure for now. I'll just get the clips as best I can do the voiceovers Format or edit the video as best I can and then give you all a closing and maybe beginning Statement uh, the only other things that I really didn't show so these I did get I did get both of these uh, I did try to make an offer for all four of them, but she wasn't really willing to budge at all. So I paid $10 a piece for these. I really like them. I love the cat and dog aesthetic. I thought that these would have a little bit more pull. The frog one was super, super cool, but I don't think frogs have a whole lot of pull. The idea is to put these in my Buy It Now in my Whatnot shows, keep them, look at them, enjoy them until they sell. I do have the dog price at $25 and the cat price at $30. Um, and then I did get... Legos. Now, I already sold the Lego figures. I didn't film that because this house had dogs and cats. Big, beautiful dog all around. So I didn't even think to like pull out my phone. I was too busy playing with all the pups. Uh, but I bought some Legos, some mini figure Lego sets. And um, I did sell those in an auction. I think I got all of that plus the Lego tape. Um, I paid $4 and the mini figs. I sold for six dollars <laughs> at whatnot auction. Not the best, but I was trying them in my garage sale auction. So I figured people are always looking for Legos and these had the little like photo of what the sets were. Uh, so I thought that they would get bid up a little bit more, but maybe if I advertise a Lego stream, something like that would have gotten better. But they weren't anything like any specific special characters. They were kind of just like soldier army men. Um, and then the tape has not sold yet, but I think that this is really cool, actually. Um, and, and I did look up some prices, so I think I could sell that tape on eBay or just try to get in another auction. Um, other than that, I don't think that there was anything else that I got and didn't talk about. The book sets. I did get two book sets. Let me show you those. The first book set um, is very old. It is an older set uh, and then just like a random book. But it seemed interesting. It seemed like like a Goosebumps, but in a friendlier version, um, a little bit more like PG than versus scary. But the Boxer Children, I have not looked this up because they are... They offered this whole set to me for a dollar. They said that they purchased it at a yard sale. And then if I wanted the whole entire set for a dollar, they finished reading it and just didn't know what else to do with it to go ahead and take it. 
Um, so, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm excited to look this one up. I have not looked this set up at all. I just figured I would chance it for a dollar, and if nothing else, it might be like a fun, kind of cute, quick read for me, because I do like to read. The other set is a little bit more of a well-known set. I'll just show you some of them. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. This is books 1 through 13. So here it is. They are all hardbacks. The, um, it was a family. They, oh, actually, I'm sorry. No, no, no. They're not all hardbacks. There are some, there are some paperbacks. Um, but the, the, the family, the kids were selling their stuff. So they were asking a dollar per book. So I just went ahead. I didn't even haggle. When it's kids selling their own stuff, the, the, it's, every little dollar really really like makes a big difference so I won't haggle kids for the most part it's pretty inexpensive anyway but normally I would have said would you take 10 for the whole set just to save me that three dollars um, so I paid thirteen dollars for that set and it looks like it's it's selling anywhere from about thirty to fifty dollars um, I it probably depends on condition and if they're all hard hardbacks or paperbacks uh, but I figured that should be a pretty quick flip and very easy books books are like one of the easiest things uh, to sell uh, they do take up a lot of space though, but hopefully I can sell those quick. Last couple things to mention is uh, you've seen that stuff that I was talking about for Halloween. I did get uh, some cost, well, a costume and some Halloween decorations because I am putting on, planning on putting on a pretty nice big whatnot show during Halloween time and probably scatter in a lot of other little whatnot shows for Halloween. So I'm starting to collect Halloween stuff, spooky, scary, thriller, horror, all that stuff so that I have plenty of stuff for the shows and the save the best for last we did find a Pikachu same thing with Christmas I am starting to put some Christmas items aside so that I can have very fun Christmas shows and this is no exception I'll get to enjoy him until up around the holiday season and then I will sell this little guy but for now he'll just sit on my dresser of plush um, so that's it that's it thank you all so much if you hung around this uh, <laughs> scattered yard sale funnery um let me know what you think about i was really excited about that plush sale just a little bit of insight with whatnot with how i clean items with sourcing i did go out with my mom so that was fun um so hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, i will see you all next time bye